What's up guys? So I've been featuring this on my channel a lot lately. It is the Proxmark 3 RDV 4.01 with the Blue Shark add-on. And I've been experimenting with it, but a couple of you guys have been asking for me to do a tutorial on how to set it up. So in this video, I'm gonna go over two ways to set it up via Android, or we're gonna go with the classic computer way. So if you have the Bluetooth device, I'm gonna go over the Bluetooth way since Iceman already has a video out on how to set this up with Termix and Android with a USB serial. So I'm gonna go over the blue, um, Bluetooth serial and yeah, if you guys would like to see that, stay tuned. So it's really important that you guys go to the GitHub in order to follow the directions for Termix. Um, it's really important because if you guys don't follow these directions, you guys are gonna kind of be lost once you get to the serial for Termix. So make sure you go here. You can also go look at the documentation, the contributors and everybody else, um, all the update documentation. So if you guys wanna look at that stuff, go here. But most importantly, go to this page, the installation page, and make sure to follow these instructions to a T. I'll be going over it on the Android part of it, but again, just read along with it so you guys are a little bit more uh, coherent. So you're gonna wanna go to proxmarkbuilds.org. You're gonna find the build for the Blue Shark add-on, which is what you wanna download for the Bluetooth version, and the regular, if you don't have the Blue Shark add-on, download which version you need, and we will be moving on to the files in order to extract. So now that we're here, we're gonna extract with 7-zip. I'm going to put it into my files. I have a Proxmark file designated for this, and you can see here uh, all the files that we need. So we're gonna move on from here and I'm gonna show you guys, widen my screen, the serial terminals and everything. So first you're gonna wanna press flash boot ROM, but we're not going to because I already have a bunch of stuff installed on mine. But you wanna go with the flash boot ROM and then you're gonna wanna flash image. Um, wait for those prompts to finish. It'll say when it's done, then just exit out of them. Now let's press the PM3 file when you're done. And as you can see, Proxmark loaded in. And it's at this point, we're just about done with the installation side of it. Uh, let's do a test and just show you guys that it is in fact working. And you do in fact have it running. We can look at the HF um, functions right here. And then I'm gonna do a hardware tune so you guys can visualize and see it working perfectly and analyzing its antenna capabilities and what the antenna status currently is. So as you can see, here it is right here. Now let's move on to the Android version and I'll show you guys how to do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up for your Android device. Make sure that you flash this with a computer because I found that flashing with an Android really doesn't work too well, if at all. So make sure you flash it with a computer once again. But I will say first, we're going to turn it on. As you can see, it is now on, and we're gonna turn on the Bluetooth. I show this in a short video, but I want to show you guys in a full length video now. So first thing we're gonna do is go into settings, and this is to make sure that the phone can pick up the Proxmark. As you can see, it's right here, Proxmark RDV 4.0, Proxmark 3, sorry. But we're gonna exit. I have Communication Bridge Pro, and I'll show you guys that right here. You guys don't need this on the GitHub, there is free versions, but first thing we're gonna wanna do is select this to be TCP server. So device A is a TCP server, and then we're gonna connect to classic Bluetooth device. Uh, quick side note, when you are on your TCP server, make sure you set your four digit pin, mine is 8888, and then you're gonna do package install Proxmark 3. Now that we have the serial open, with Termix, we're gonna run PKG install Proxmark 3, and then I'm gonna have this pop up on the screen. The commands that you need to run after this, I'm not gonna go through it on my own uh, right here because it's gonna take forever, um, but you guys can also just follow the GitHub if you guys don't wanna follow um, the commands on the screen. So you guys can see it here. Now I'm gonna upgrade things real quick. You guys don't have to do this, but it's PKG upgrade. Proxmark 3, what this is gonna do, it's gonna make sure that the file is as up-to-date as possible, even though you'll see later on in the client that it's still out of date, but only by 10 days, so it shouldn't be such a big deal. You're gonna go ahead and type yes for anything that asks you if you need to do it. 
So it's just Y enter, Y enter. And once done, we will have the next step. Now that Proxmark is ready to use, we're just gonna type in Proxmark3 TCP colon localhost colon your port number. Mine is 8888. And as you can see, we are gonna get Proxmark3 to run. So now I can cut from this little Android screen and show you guys the testing overall. So let's go ahead and emulate some LFTech RFID cards here. Um, actually, I have some saved already. This is just a random card that I grabbed from my own home. Um, oh, let's not do that. Um, let's do auto and see if it picks it up. It's gonna LF search. That's there we go, finally, so it did find kind of card it was so as you can see we are working let's try um, actually let's not try an HF tag I'll do a separate video of testing different tags I'm gonna do a lot more videos on the Proxmark basic overview um, my opinion on it later on but this was just a quick setup guide for you guys and then I'm gonna do a full review once I get a really good grasp and then be able to show you guys a few of my favorite tricks on it for now, just a cool setup video since I found a cool way to set up something that I think a lot of you guys would like to also set up.